and eleven Someone is selling us twenty-one dreams All the time We got out the phone He's playing a record called Violence is free Oh, that's fine We should get back home, Selena We could make it a mom and pop We could rise and shout together And we will make it to the church I might be bar- Like we're gonna drink with
Crude Hospitality is a collective of unique restaurants, nightclubs, and hotels. For me, it's about creating an ecosystem that really is, touches everybody that comes to Miami. The number one thing I'm looking for when I go to open a new venue is, is anyone else there? Because I always want to be the first one in or when everyone's left to go back in. And for me, that's, that's the value I bring because I could activate an area. Where I think the hot new neighborhoods are in Miami is of course the Miami Design District. You have all the flagships from all the big stores there. People used to drive up north to go shopping and now they go right here in the center of Miami. It's been amazing. And having Swan there, it's like having a restaurant on Rodeo Drive. Also, Miami Beach is having a renaissance now, right? So what's great about that is us opening restaurants on Alton Road, Winkers, Tooth Fairy, Sushi Flight Chicken, of course the Good Time Hotel on Washington Ave, and Strawberry Moon. One of the ways that I find my innovative edge is by looking to see what's coming out of the underground. Because people always try to follow the trends and by doing that, you've missed it. So for me, I always look what's bubbling, what's bubbling in the underground because that's what becomes pop culture in the next six months or a year. Miami definitely has its own style of pop culture. It's a blend of Latin, international, Euro, New York, Miami, the whole thing. And what it does is, you know, we're in this, this environment and this atmosphere down here where people let loose and it doesn't have to be so formal, but yet chic. And I think that's what's so cool about Miami. Art and music are such a big part of my life because I love the creativeness around both those elements. And what we do, I know it's the restaurant and hospitality business, but it's actually, it's an art form, I feel. And by having those creative people around me, it inspires what we do on the hospitality side. And I think we try to be on the forefront of technology and lighting and sound and music. And it, what it does is it creates a, a special, special moment for people. You know, what makes Miami the place to be right now is you have everybody from tech to startups to VC to creatives to entertainment to music all coming and moving to Miami right now. And it's created this atmosphere to bring all these people to this great city. So the future for Groot Hospitality is we're just, we love Miami and Miami oh, will always be home. For us, it's about taking the Miami culture we have here and bringing it elsewhere. We need to open doors for each other because umdung umdung abandu. I just wanted to be someone that creates stuff, someone that adds value to people's lives and moves the community forward. I was born and raised in Langa, Cape Town. Langa is a fantastic place. It's one of the first townships uh, in Cape Town, I think South Africa as well. It came to me that, you know, it would be cool to have a delivery service for people in the community whereby someone would just call you and you would go to that particular house and, you know, they'll give you a list of groceries and money to just go do the groceries for them. At the moment, we have 20 bicycles, meaning we have also 20 boys. It started in February 2020 and since then the business has grown, especially during the lockdown. These are times that uh, a struggle for many families. There's no income for people. But for our business, I think it has affected it in a positive way. These boys are able to come to work and make money for themselves, take the income to their homes and help where they're able to help. 
Opening doors for me means giving other people an opportunity to create something for themselves and for their life. As young people, we need to have streams of income. We need to start opening our businesses. What we're doing now, you know, we're opening doors for young people to be able to generate an income throughout the lockdown. I think it's very important to support local businesses because these are the businesses that add value to communities, you know, providing a platform and an opportunity for people to do something with their lives. Is it too good to be true? I want this so much, but don't know if I can trust you. My mind's racing fast, trying to find the red flags I'm used to. All these green lights, are they coming too soon? Cup between red and the green, and you. I'm stuck in the blue. Is it too good to be true? I want this so much, but don't know if I can trust you. My mind's racing fast, trying to find the red flags I'm used to. All these green lights, are they coming too soon? Caught between red and the green, and you. I'm stuck in the blue. It's missing. It's uncantado. You Do it, do it. Hey, accept my reto. You like that? Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, it's your turn. Okay. Yeah, 
Really? Wow. That's really cool. When I first met the family, I was just driving through. Then I came across this painted house. I went in and our relationship started. I really feel good about the fact that people under all odds have decided to remain who they are. It is important that uh, you keep your traditions because your children must know where they're coming from. And that has made me have more respect for the people in the rural areas than the people in the city. They have enriched me. It is a privilege to have known the Demanda family, for I would not have had the insight that I have today. April 26, 1986. An accident has occurred at the Chernobyl atomic power plant as one of the atomic reactors was damaged. The world's worst nuclear accident happens at the Chernobyl plant in Ukraine, then part of the Soviet Union. An explosion and fire at the plant kills at least 31 people, spewing radioactive clouds into the atmosphere that winds carry as far as Western Europe. 1865. Federal troops surround and kill John Wilkes Booth, President Abraham Lincoln's assassin, near Bowling Green, Virginia. 1607. English colonists wash ashore at what's now Cape Henry, Virginia. Weeks later, they establish Jamestown, the first permanent English settlement in the Western Hemisphere. 1937. Planes from Nazi Germany and fascist Italy raid the Basque town of Guernica during the Spanish Civil War. 2000. Vermont's Governor Howard Dean signs the first bill in the United States allowing same-sex couples to form civil unions. And 1989. Hello, friends. I'm your vitamin Benjamin girl. Are you tired, run down, listless? Do you poop out at parties? <laughs> Actress and comedian Lucille Ball, star of the classic TV hit I Love Lucy, dies in Los Angeles at the age of 77. Today in History, April 26th, Ed Donahue, The Associated Press.
Welcome back in our studio and in today's news, 